Mr. Speaker, my mother used to say patience is a virtue. I haven't seen so much panic on this floor since 9-11. This bill is not a bill to let people keep their health insurance plans. The president took care of that issue yesterday. This is a problem all across America. The promise that you could keep your plan was never to be kept, and they knew it, and they continued to say it, and it wasn't true. Unfortunately, today's bill is a ruse. It claims to make things better, but all it does is to make things terribly worse, and Republicans will hide behind the sound by The gentleman from New York just said it. Universal health care, single-payer system, government takeover of one-sixth of our economy. That's what they wanted from the very beginning. The Republicans are on a mission of destruction. Nothing will satisfy them except that very mission. And now we have a bill out here with no hearings whatsoever run out here, and we're told there will be no confusion. There will be nothing but confusion. It's nothing more or less than the kind of insurance policies which are being authorized by it that were sold by snake oil salesmen around this country, which gave no relief, no help, and no benefit to the American people. Uh, you know, they can't feign that they didn't know this was going to happen, by the way, Mr. Speaker, because back in 2010, the administration had a report that said over 60% of private plans would be canceled under the president's health care law. And the president's answer was, oh, it was a lousy plan. Well, Mr. Speaker, it was not a lousy plan for Chris or for Aaron or for the millions of Americans that are losing their plans. They like their plan. Some Washington politician shouldn't be able to say, I don't think it's good enough, so I'm going to take it from